Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we are back out here at the camp at the T portion of the compound. And we're going to try one more egg exciting egg experiment. And in this one, we are actually going to try to make the egg explode because I do believe Ace, when he told me that his wife had his ex-wife. <laughs> egg's wife. Egg's wife. His <laughs> egg's wife. Yeah. Had exploded an egg. So we're actually going to set the egg on fire or attempt to set it on fire by um, putting it here on a, a little piece of glass holder thingy that I got from a candle holder. And he's going to pour some um, vegetable oil on it and just light it on fire. And we'll see if we can't get this thing to actually explode because supposedly cooking an egg without opening it, you know, without popping a vent hole or anything on it will make the egg explode. I think we already broke that myth, but we're going to do it one more time with high heat. I think we would get enough high heat by putting vegetable oil right on it and setting it on fire. So stay tuned. All right, Ace is getting ready to pour the oil right on the egg and the so paper. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the oil, if, if anything is going to make an egg explode, the oil may fill up the pores that are inside the eggshell, preventing them from allowing pressure to out. But after, after seeing these experiments, I'm actually thinking now that what happened with... Uh, my wife is the hard boiled eggs had already fully hard boiled and she forgot about them so they sat there hard boiled on the high heat for too long once all the water boiled out and i think all that pressure inside caused them to pop so the eggs were already cooked they were they hard were already boiled solidly eggs. cooked yeah whereas these before it reaches that catastrophic failure it's going to crack the egg so i think those i think that's the reason the the hard boiled eggs exploded was because they you know, the air pressure built up and there was nowhere for it to go. So she hard boiled the egg and then put it over a fire? Or no, no, no. she hard boiled the eggs, put them on the boil and forgot about them. Oh, and the... So all the water boiled out and then they just sat there on the, on the heat. And exploded. And exploded. But we're going to try it with a real flame here because, you know, I know you guys enjoy watching fire burn an egg. <laughs> and leave no stone unturned. Yep, we got a... Or we... no egg unburned. <laughs> <laughs> we we got we to gotta pursue this one last round here. So we are setting the egg on fire. You know, for some reason, this makes me think of the Salem witch trials. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sobering thought, huh? Did they burn eggs? I don't know, but they burn people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at all that smoke. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this egg is... Notice he's sitting close to it now. He's not so much afraid now. <laughs> yeah. I think we busted the myth. But the egg, I know you guys want to see the egg, so we'll show the egg. We're both literally just inches away from the fire. And apparently mosquitoes love the smell of burning stuff. Because as we light the fire, mosquitoes have been coming up to us left and right. I'm not sure the oil on the egg is catching, though. Yeah, it's weird. The oil on the egg is making the egg shine, and the egg is cooking through. Ooh, look, look, look. It's behaving differently. Ooh, yeah, it is. Look at that. It's almost like art. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh-oh, maybe we found a new way to... <laughs> oh, it is. It's going to crack. Yeah, he's moving away. I just moved One of to us get more is light. more afraid than the other. <laughs> I have to move away from the, the flame. The flame's going to be following my camera. So... <gasps> yep. It did pop, but no, no explosion. explosion. Just a uh, pop, bubbling... And the egg turning black. Now you're gonna eat this one? Uh, no, this is the rotted egg. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if that makes a difference. <laughs> but it's interesting to, to watch the. Um, you know, what's really interesting is the paper is burning and burning and burning. It's acting like a wick, and the oil that was put on it apparently is lasting a very long time. Well, that's that's why you do that. I, I uh, when I start my charcoal, I start it with a chimney starter with some uh, oiled up newspaper, so. It, burns long enough to make sure that the, the charcoal takes. Well, this is actually giving me some ideas for cooking without um, spending too much money because that oil was, um, this oil right here, I think I bought from, I bought it from um, Dollar Tree. Golden Chef vegetable oil. It's like a dollar. And we only used a little bit, maybe a cup, not a cup, a, a cap or two. 
and it's burning and burning and burning. So that paper is acting like a wick mm -hmm. and the oil is asking, actually lasting a very long time. Now the egg is turning totally black and it looks like it's cracking and cooking. And this may actually be the preferable way if you want to cook eggs over a fire. I don't They're a lot know cheaper and a whole lot easier to control. Yeah, we didn't. You don't even need a. Um, you don't need a big fire pit. You don't need a um, a homemade stove thingy that I made using that pot. All you need is just um, some paper, oil, and an egg. And if you have one of these glass holders, this is actually the lid from one of those um, Dollar Tree candles. You, you can know, use a shot glass as well, though. Yeah, and just set the egg on it. Put the um, paper towel on it. Light the whole thing on fire and you can cook an egg this way. I'm going to say that uh, the myth is busted. The egg, it does crack and pop open, but it doesn't explode. Now I can hear the, the gas is coming out, so it is cooking. But this seems to be like really, really, really cooking. I don't know if you guys are hearing it on the camera. And if this were not a rotted egg, I would eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it may... Wow! <laughs> Oh, and smell it! <coughs> it is rotted! <laughs> Maybe it's not a myth. Would you call that an explosion? Uh, uh, well, technically it would be an explosion, but not anything anyone needs to worry about. Yeah, because he was telling me initially, Oh yeah, it'll be putting egg all over the room! But you know what? It did explode. So, I guess there's two parts to it. I guess uh, it depends on the egg. <laughs> Or it depends on how much heat is applied. I how don't know. How thick the shell is. Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I think this video just got demonetized. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is not the preferred way to cook an egg. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is true! It does explode! That was... <laughs> you know... <laughs> I don't know what to say. We thought we busted a myth. <laughs> and, um, it's true. It's not fully cooked. Although it's burning now. But, um, it's weird, isn't it? Why would it explode sometime and not others? Yeah, my egg science is completely off, apparently. Me so. too. <laughs> no, because uh, we, we cooked what two three times without it exploding it just cracked but this particular time two explosions maybe because we rotated the egg you know i'm wondering if uh the rotation when, when we rotated it it cooked evenly from all sides and then the egg yolk starts solidifying to keep the the stuff from actually expanding super fast and exploding maybe that could, well i mean this was getting it was fairly getting, evenly cooked it just wasn't getting cooked on top well so. It exploded. I, there's no, we weren't, you know, the, the first pop, we weren't sure if it really exploded, but after looking at the second pop, it definitely exploded. And I'm looking at that black mass right there, and I think that is the egg actually burning that, at Yeah, this that's point. the egg at this point. And underneath there is the uh, egg yolk. What's surprising is the egg yolk is still um, wet. So, will an egg explode if you put it into a direct fire and light it? Well, it depends. What would we say uh, on this particular myth here? Uh, well, it exploded. Just not catastrophically, not dangerously. But it doesn't explode all the time, though. No. So maybe partially true. Kind of explodes. It depends on the egg. It depends on the cooker. And it depends on the cameraman. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah? I, don't, I, I got nothing. Yeah, it's an interesting experiment, to say the least. I definitely would not eat this egg at this point. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for uh, joining us for this episode. It was uh, exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Now, I, I just wonder if you they're going to... get your spoon now? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think I... <laughs> I do not think I will eat this particular egg. This is... Uh, it's got fish sauce. I got fish sauce. A blackened egg. Roasting over a uh, fire. Definitely exploded. So I, I'm going to call this myth a... a plausible. Pl plausible. It can explode depending on where and how you cook the egg and... The conditions, I guess, have to be just right for the egg to explode, but it does explode. I would not cook an egg directly like this because we just saw it explode. I do want to thank uh, 
Ace for coming out here with me to conduct these uh, series of experiments. It was a great lot of fun. A lot of fun. My, my eyes are in tears right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed these episodes. If you enjoy Ace, make sure you check out his channel. It is a very cool channel. has a lot of um, uh, stuff on it for backpackers, hikers, and stuff like that. And Are you looking to get into van dwelling eventually, maybe? I, I do want to build a van because uh, there are times I head out for a section hike and I get there too late to be able to hike too far in uh, to set up camp. So I end up sleeping in the vehicle, so I want to build myself a van so then in those instances I park and I can just sleep and get a first light start in the morning. All right, and well, have a comfortable night's sleep. That'd be awesome. So we'll look forward to those episodes when you get your van. In the meantime, if you enjoy his um, cooking episodes, they are fantastic. The food is, is like awesome, excellent. So I uh, want to thank you all for tuning in. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe, and um, whatever you do, don't try this at home. Unless you want to make a YouTube video and maybe uh, <laughs> make some money on it. <laughs> Until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Be safe. Bye-bye now.